going on everyone? Jimmy Brown, Automated Scale. I'm gonna demonstrate here a little uh, control box that we had uh, programmed. This is a, an Avowaytronics ZM405. That's a programmable indicator. It's in a uh, enclosure box. This was used to uh, basically, we create this box so we can use these uh, remote push buttons inside here wired everything up power comes in here the valve is controlled here there's a switch to determine which tank you send it to 24 volt power supply for the indicator and uh, basically wired up all the push buttons there's a e-stop here and a uh, automatic manual mode toggle switch this is a soft off basically doesn't allow uh, anything to no no power is going to pass through the, uh, the the pump so slide it to automatic <laughs> pull all day from that so right now how they have it set up it's in gross mode so there's a uh, test weights on the scale basically as you enter your target weight and then use 50 pounds right here target weight set go ahead and set that up now, as the pump is engaged, it's going to pull the weight off, uh, pull, pull weight off the scale by pumping out of the tank, pumping out of the the, the, tank, the drum on top of the scale. So, once it hits that point, the, sh the set point shuts off. The way we have the display work is it's going to show the actual total of the weight that's pulled off the scale in a positive sense, even though it's going, it's it's actually coming off the scale in a negative way. So it's inverted, and uh, there's a couple things here. Um, before I start, I want to show you three more options that we have that we set for this customer. We hold down the target key, hold down the target key, you got a, a no motion timer. So if the wheels are spinning, the pump's going, there's nothing pulling out, it'll pause based on the timer we set on here. Right now it's set up for 25 seconds, usually about the time it takes to get to the, the end of the road to get to the, to the tank. So um, if this was to time out, it may, immediately goes into pause mode and waits for you to either tell it to, to you know, maybe you need to replace something, maybe replace the drum, or you're, you want to abort this, you're done with this for the day. Hit, hit pause again, it'll abort the mission, abort the uh, product. So um, we're going to keep that in there, no motion timer. The end time, so this is if you want to switch back to the gross mode view off the inverted view when you're filling. We, if you set it to zero, you'll just always show the inverted view. So I'm going to keep it at zero. Enter, and this is max weight to withdraw out of, the, out of a pull. So we set it to a thousand just so they don't accidentally set it higher for the, tar the target weight higher. So that's good. We'll go ahead and hit the start button. The pump's gonna run. I'm gonna pull out 50 pounds. Good. That that run went well. I'm gonna hit it again. So right now it's showing. The total amount that was just taken off during that last run is a 50 pound, 50 pound target weight. It's showing that, that that's you know pulled off more or less. And right now it's active, so if I mess with the scale, it's going to show that that like what's been pulled out. Um, as I push up on the scale, obviously the number will go higher because it's less weight on the scale. The number rises even though it should drop because it's less weight. So toggle to gross mode, and I got zero. Nothing on the scale. You're ready to go. I'll post this little handout, kind of a cheat sheet. Automated scale, automatedscale.com. Info at automated scale, info at automatedscale.com.